First of all, it started with the sound and a search for a new sound. When I first heard the sound of ice, <laughs> I found it different from other instruments. I think it's uh, every human being's wish or dream to find something new. The ice that we did bring to the UK now is uh, harvested in Norway and it is uh, harvested on lakes in the mountainside. So what we do for creating instruments is that number one, we wait for winter. And when winter is there and we have thick ice, we go out to the lake and we use a man also to, to catch huge blocks of ice, take them up by hand and then start carving, cutting, sawing, sticking together, etc. Really hard to find the ice that has a good sound. I have a ice drum. I have an ice trumpet. An ice horn. Some ice chimes and an isophone, that is kind of ice marimba. I managed to develop a system where we can save the ice on stage without melting. I'm quite sure there is no one else who can do this. I was invited to the north of Canada to do a concert some years ago in the Inuit capital. <laughs> and when I enter stage, I can see the face of 300 Inuits. And I kind of, uh, you know, with respect, get a bit scared because they are the real professional ice, snow and winter people. They've been dealing with this for centuries and for generations. <laughs> But they have never heard about ice music. So it was a fantastic experience. Maybe I can try to make a project where I try to collaborate with natives that have a background with ice and winter. They have one thing in common and that's the ice and I'm bringing the ice on stage. For me, this collaboration has been very inspiring. We have a kind of a common feeling that this is something we can carry out via using the music. It's my life work. Falling in love with the project is both beautiful, inspiring, and is changing all the time. I think it's always really nice to come to England and to work with Sound UK because everything is properly prepared. Sound UK have respect for artists. And that makes a big difference, I think. It was powerful and spiritual and moving all at the same time. It was just amazing. I didn't expect it to be so cool. And when the sound started to play, I, I, I found it quite amazing. Really moving, actually. There were some bits that were just so powerful. I loved, I loved the mix of the... Uh, more contemporary instruments with the ice. Yes, I, I thought it was absolutely incredible. Um, such a, yeah, so many diverse cultures brought together for it. Um, such a, a great array of sounds. I hope I haven't heard the most amazing ice sound yet. So I will still be, be searching for this.
Yeah. <laughs>